What's up, Kahomi? Hope you had a great spring break. Today on GPA TV, sports, talent show info, Ukraine update, and more. I'm Cynthia. I'm Hala. And GPA TV starts right, right now. a long break, Wahomi. Not long enough. We literally had like two weeks. Well, do you have a time that you want Wahomi to see? Well, Wahomi will be having a talent show on April 29th from 7.30 to 8.30 p.m. So I can just show up and perform? No, you audition through Flipgrid. An email from Ms. Perkins will be coming soon. All you have to do is pay $5 to enter and first place will win a $25 gift card. Sounds fun. Maybe I'll join. What's your talent? This. Um, okay, on to entertainment. What's up, Michael Home Homies? This is Fernando Leon here with your entertainment news. To start off, the 94th Academy Awards was full of excitement. Disney's Encanto got Best Animated Feature, No Time to Die got Best Original Song, and Will Smith got Best Actor. Not only did he get something, but he gave something too. Roll the clip. Yes, Will Smith slapped Chris Rock after an offensive joke aimed at his wife, Jada Smith, who has a condition related to her hair. This results in him getting banned from attending the Oscars for 10 years. Let's just say Will Smith pulled a Maddie. If you know, you know. Speaking of awards, the Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards were presented on April 9th. The favorite movie was Spider-Man No Way Home, with Tom Holland being the favorite actor and Zendaya being the favorite actress. Their favorite animated movie was Encanto, and the video game was Minecraft. The favorite creators were Mr. Beast and Charlie D'Amelio. On a different note, The Weeknd, Olivia Rodrigo, and Doja Cat are leading the Billboard Music Awards. The Weeknd leads the finalists with an outstanding 17 categories. Speaking of artists, there is one artist named Harry Styles and his song, As It Was, is the biggest song right now. It sounds am amazing. You should hear it. Lastly, here's a funny clip recorded in San Francisco. Roll the clip. San Francisco uh, police were puzzled when they pulled over what turned out to be a driverless car. Ain't nobody in it. <laughs> Send the ticket to Elon Musk or something. I don't know. <laughs> well, that's all, folks. This has been Fernando Leon with your entertainment news. Now let's go back to the main show. Wow, those were definitely interesting Oscars this year. For sure. Now it's about time for a news story. Ever wonder what goes on to film the show? Well, here's Behind the Scenes by David Arroyo and Aiden Reyes. Roll the clip. Picture this. It's a long Thursday afternoon here at GPA. Fourth period is going to end in 13 minutes, but for some reason your teacher says to pack up early. They're all confused until they say, who wants to watch GPA TV? You start watching the show and wonder, hmm, I wonder how GPA TV is made. Well, no worries, because we are here to show you the magic behind the studio. My favorite thing about GPA TV is watch is learning. I learn um, is learning. That's my favorite thing, basically learning new technology and getting to use it 
and then teaching my students how to use it so that um, their production is at the highest quality with technology that is used in the field so that my students get that uh, real life experience w with using the technology that is uh, developing in the uh, TV video world. My job is to be the stage manager, which is basically making sure everyone's on task and doing their job and setting up correctly and just helping them anytime someone needs help. And then when we're filming, my job is just to like make sure we get enough run-throughs for the crew to make sure that everything is just perfect. So right now my job is TriCaster, and the TriCaster job is this giant computer where you manage all the cameras to run the weekly show. Probably the hardest part is getting all the assignments done, especially like right at this moment, because as we're filming this, we have a movie, we have a news story, and yeah, we just have those two, but those are very hard to manage, especially because we have to work on them like simultaneously. But I think that's just pretty much the hardest part. The hardest job of TriCaster, I think, is towards the beginning when the cameras won't connect because sometimes you have problems with the NDI box of another camera and my job depends on having other cameras connected. If they're connected and if they're not working, then I can't run my job. Also, it's kind of hard to memorize all the steps for the job because then you have to export the video and you have to run the green screen and everything. So I think that's the hardest part of my job. Well, video production can be a lot of work. It can also be a lot of fun to find highlights of the latest football game, look up graphics for the newest information while also learning something yourself, and working with others. The camera operator, David Arroyo, this is Aiden Reyes, reporting for GPA TV. Well, now you know what goes on behind the scenes of GPA TV. Such an awesome environment. Speaking of environment, let's see what's going on in the Ukraine-Russia environment. President Biden wants to accelerate assistance to the people in Ukraine. Yesterday, he announced that he's going to help Ukrainian citizens escape the war with Russia by accepting up to 100,000 Ukrainian refugees in the U.S. It's great that these people will finally be safe from these terrible circumstances. Also, Ukrainian drones are being sent to spy on Russian troops and help the Ukrainian army. One of these drones was able to follow a Russian soldier to his base as he ran away from it in fear. Let's take a look. Roll the clip. I hope the war ends soon. Me too. Now, on to sports with Olivia. Welcome back, Guahomi. This is Olivia bringing you your weekly sports news. Kicking it off with Guahomi soccer, the soccer team will have a game Monday at Rancho Minerva. For middle school girls basketball, we will have a game next Tuesday at Rancho Minerva as well at 4 p.m. I am super excited to play. On a more professional level, the winner of the NCAA March Madness are the Jayhawks of the University of Kansas. They, de they defeated the Tar Heels of the University of North Carolina, the score 72 to 69. Let's take a look. Circling around, he slipped underneath. They go to Love. Love's going to be the one to take it. Puts up the shot. It's off. The game is over. And Kansas completes the biggest championship comeback. All time. Congratulations to the Jayhawks. The first game of the NBA playoffs will begin at 10 a.m. on Saturday. The second game at 3 p.m., the third at 5.30, and the fourth is still to be determined. The MLB season has officially begun, with the San Diego Padres already off to a good start with a 4-1 record. We'll be sure to keep you updated. And that will be all for sports. This has been Olivia. Let's head on back to the main show. 
Thanks, Olivia. I'm definitely looking forward to watching the playoffs. Sounds fun. You know what else was fun? Remember way back the last day of school before spring break, there was a pep rally? Oh, yeah, that's right. But it was so long ago. I barely remember. You and me both. Let's refresh our memory with these fun pep rally highlights. Wow, those teachers got soaked. Oh, I would have loved to throw a water balloon at Mr. Amaya. Oh, um, there goes my GPA TV grade. I'm um, just kidding. One more question, homie. Do you want to go to Spain? What kind of a question is that? Of course. Well, check out the virtual travel info meeting on Thursday, April 21st at 6.30 p.m. The trip will take place during spring break of 2023. You have the RSVP to get the Zoom link. More information will be available soon. Well, that's all for today, Gohomi. Join us next week for more exciting news. I'm Hala. And I'm Cynthia. This, this is GBA TV signing out.